<sighs> you ready to work today, kiddo? I know you were up late. Yeah, I went around the school eight times last night on patrol. Find anything? No danger. I just found a turtle that I thought we could keep. But it was dead and had bugs inside, so I thought, never mind. It's my turn to be lookout. I have other stuff I need to do. What stuff? Nothing. It's just... It's important. God damn it, Lewis. Take this seriously for once in your life. I've been taking this seriously for fucking days. Almost two weeks. So has everyone. Get over yourself. Hey. I thought Lily and Abel would show up days ago. I wonder why they're holding off. Don't know. All I wanted was more time to prepare, but now this waiting sucks and everyone's on edge. Need my help? Yeah, actually. Could you check on everyone and make sure they're doing shit right? Sure, I'm on it. Thanks, Clem. I should go board up the back hallway, since Lewis isn't gonna do it. Pretty clear message. Still wouldn't want to pledge to that. Shit. What's going on? In a few weeks, or days, or hours, the raiders will be here. Burn down our place and steal or kill us. And then it won't matter how much I sucked at this. The raiders aren't gonna burn anything or steal anybody. We'll stop it. You sound like Marlin. I mean, not about fighting, but when he was trying to cheer us all up. For years I sat around making stupid jokes, playing stupid games. While my best friend was left with all the responsibility, all the tough calls, all the sleepless nights, and eventually, a bullet in the head. And I didn't do a damn thing about it. And then when you tried to tell us what he was really like, and AJ shot him, I blamed you. Both of you. If I could take it back, I would. I knew that the day you got back. Fuck you, Lewis. You know, it's not like you made it easy for us to keep you here. From day one. Fuck. I didn't want to hurt you two, I just... I was... What are you doing? Mm, test. Gotta see if the bomb will go off. This little thing won't kill anybody. Just gotta see if it'll light. Yeah, it better. Our whole plan rests on that little thing. If they get in, I'll need you to set the bomb off while I distract them. Expect the unexpected. Yeah, something like that. I, I read that on one of those stupid inspirational posters. <laughs> School used to have them everywhere. As soon as things went to shit, I tore them all down. Could you? Uh, my hands all fucked up from messing with it all day. Let's 
Stand back. Fucking shit. If it doesn't work... Fuck shit! <sighs> Great. We're totally fucking fucked. I'll figure it out. I just need more time. Alone time. To think. I get it. I'll leave you alone. Thanks, though. For helping. Do you think Sophie and Minnie might be with them when they get here? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. I'm doing watch, Clem, for danger. Like patrol? No, Clem. Lookout's totally different than patrol. How so? You don't walk. Oh, right. Back hallway's secure. How is everyone? Okay, or, you know, a total fucking mess. Honestly, it's not reassuring. Mitch's bomb doesn't work, and Lewis is being an asshole. Fuck, that's... <sighs> shit. Because you're boring and your idea is stupid! Oh, uh, I'm being stupid? You're the one who can't think straight. If you could hear yourself... Guys, what the fuck? Violet told us to work on the traps together, but a sim won't listen to anything I say! That doesn't mean you have to scream at each other. Stay out of this. I have an idea for duffel bags filled with bricks. We drop them on the raiders, if they get to the admin building. Willie here wants to use a giant, idiotic swinging log to take out one raider at most. It's completely stupid. You're stupid! You're being childish! I am not! I'm trying to help! The swinging log sounds like it could do real damage. Yeah! That's what I said! Sure. Damage to, like, one person. If it manages to hit anyone at all. I don't know why I'm surprised, though. You know, I can't remember the last time Willie did anything useful for this school. You could barely handle guard duty. What the shit? Dude, you okay? Yeah, fine. Shit! Christ. We'll all kill each other before the raiders even get a fucking chance. All right, what we need is something to break the tension. Hey, buddy, how's it hanging? Dude, fuck off. Sulking in the corner isn't gonna help us fight off the raiders. Or turn that frown upside down. You get more annoying every day. Regardless, I've come up with a plan to make everybody feel better. And that plan is a game. Come on, we gotta play. Okay, I'm coming. Oh, we haven't played a game in weeks since that night with Marlin. I mean, if you wanna go ask Ruby to come play, I don't mind waiting. Shut up, dude! I swear to God. You've got a crush on Ruby? What do we plan? Truth or dare. You don't use cards in Truth or Dare. You do in this version. Everyone draws. Highest card gets to ask, Lois card has to answer. <laughs> this should be good. Let's see. Truth. Mary, fuck, kill. Bye. Fine. Mary, flip, kill. Ruby, a sim, or James, that guy who saved you. <sighs> oh my god. You gotta answer. Them's the rules. Let's see. I would marry... James. He sounds mysterious. Funny. You pronounce horrifying differently than I do. Didn't you say he wore skin? Like, human skin? Whatever makes you happy, Clem. I would, um... Flip. 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 Flip, 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 flip.
Ruby. <laughs> uh, sorry. I was just imagining her glare while Clem propositions her. What? You sure that's a good idea? What's wrong with you? She picked. Ruby gets a flip. So that means you're killing... This is amazing. A sim! Oh, thank God. What? <laughs> You'd rather die than marry your flip Clem. I, uh, no. I didn't mean it like that. This is great. We're laughing, we're bonding. It's a nice break from thinking about homicidal assholes sneaking into our homes to kidnap us. Not if you bring it up. On to round two. I win. And poor Sim loses. Definitely a dare. Uh, okay. Do your worst. You have to kiss... a walker. What? No way. Gotta play by the rules, my dude. That's like... I could die. Avoid the teeth. Go for the cheek. Ugh, gross. Oh, God. Oh my god! Oh. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> oh, I can't breathe! <laughs> I hate everyone. That was amazing. Well, I think we all learned something about our good friend Asim today. Mainly that he has no romantic charm whatsoever. Shut up. Look sharp, y'all. It's time for round three. I got it. We've been pretty hard on poor Sim here, teasing him about sweet Ruby. Seems only fair we mercilessly tease someone else about unrequited love. So, Clem. Anyone here you like-like? Seriously? Like-like? What are you, six? <sighs> yeah. I've definitely got feelings for someone. Oh! Who is it? <laughs> nope. Not telling. Sim, you've got the high card, and the loser is Tennessee. What's something you've never told anyone because you were afraid they'd make fun of you? You got this. I, um, I, I think, I think walkers won't always be around. They'll go away someday, because the world goes in cycles, right? Ice Age, Stone Age, um, some other ages, so it's like that. This age will end, and another one will start. An age without walkers, like it used to be. It'll be better. Why is everyone looking at me like that? Did I ruin the game? No, we'll all be dead by the time the walker age ends. Wiped out, like dinosaurs. Yeah, but at least we know everything isn't over. What's wrong, AJ? Uh, I just don't know what it's like. All of you do, but I don't. I don't remember a time before monsters. You know what, little dude? It's okay that you don't. Believe me, the world before this one was pretty shitty. And that feels like a good place to call it. We should finish up our work anyway. It's getting dark. You're on lookout? Yep. Clementine's got it after me. Can I come? Of course you can, little guy. Hey. Hey. You, uh, need any help with that log? Uh, yeah, it's pretty heavy. Let's go build the deadliest log ever conceived by man. Sorry I punched you. It's okay. It's a pretty good punch. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check out our defenses on the back wall before bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. You could always help me instead. If we're back on speaking terms, that is. I'm on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. I've got a project I want to try, but I need a second person.
Oh, I didn't think you'd actually come. I mean, I'm not mad, I'm just... I'm glad you're here. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So, how do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. Honestly, I'm terrified. Damn, you're owning it. Huh, I'm impressed. Usually people bury their feelings, but you look them right in the face and say, Whoa, these suck. So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. When I give the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great! That part's golden. Quick, now blow on the strings. I know, sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. Okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny! It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> You're the worst, ever. Okay, it was a little funny? Not even a little? Damn. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. You should mark the occasion. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. Whitlin. Okay, I'll stop. All done. That is a fine pair of letters, if I do say so myself. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Ha. Huh. Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. You feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here, listening, blowing on the strings, coming here to help me with my project even after everything I put you through and everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um... I like you a lot. Like, like you. As more than a friend. <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? When you said you had feelings for someone during the game, I was hoping it was me. And it is. Holy shit, it's me! Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so... There. Gotta admit, of all the things I saw coming, you having a crush on me was not it. You stabbing me in my sleep? Yes. Declaration of crush? No. <laughs> Clem, you out here? 
I have to go. I've got lookout duty. Well, you wouldn't want to miss that. Sounds like way too much fun. The Raiders. That guy. He's gonna be with them. Abel. Yeah. Your bad dreams. They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. I fucking really hate that fucking dickhead shit fuck. Whoa, that's a little much, don't you think? Well, I do. Try thinking about something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three... Four... AJ, it's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. And he doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay. Really? Yes, I can't promise you how things are gonna go, but if it's possible, you get first shot at him. Wow. What, you thought I'd say no? Yeah, I'm grown up now. No, you aren't. But I'm close. Clem, I see something. Not a walker? Here, you look too. That's not a walker. Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Raiders? Yeah, they're here. Shit. Well, in case it all goes to hell and I don't see you again during the fight, just know, I have no idea what that D stands for on your hat. Don't tell me. I prefer it to remain a mystery. But I'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die. So just, uh, listen to your hat, okay? We're ready. They've got at least four more people, all carrying guns, and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. If they manage to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. The log's ready. I double-checked it. Triple, even. So, uh... Any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Just try not to- ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, oh, no. Fuck! Shit! Fuck! Shit! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! I'll be all right. <laughs> don't have much time. Go! Okay. 
Okay, just try not to move or make noise. The fuck is all this? Focus. They're just scarecrows. Guess they took us seriously. Spread out. Don't get the chance. Where's our new recruit? <laughs> They're not yours. Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine. Lily! Ah! Clem! Where's our new recruits? <laughs> They're not yours! Search the yard. If Clementine moves, shoot her. We'll find them, Clementine, and then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. Shut up! You can't fucking do it, can you? You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. Lee would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. That the sweet little girl he protected turned out like this. He taught me how to survive. How to kill! Yeah, some job he did. He still died, Clementine. Get out! If you won't help me find the others, I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her life, how happy she is. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed, one guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother, she missed him the most. Shit. Where are they? Let me take you to them. I can't. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they are. <coughs> no!
kill that one, the girl. Should be easy. I'll see you in hell. You'll be there for a good long time before I show up. I don't mind waiting.
I'm sorry for trusting her. God, Asim, Omar, they're just gone. And Violet. I never thought someone would get her. We're going after them. How? We still don't know where they are or how many. Well, we've got someone who does. Deviants, we're going to go ahead and end it here. I want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and let me know what your uh, favorite choices are of this uh, Bad Choice playthrough for episode 2, uh, Suffer the Children. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Uh, doing ugly choices next, and then we're going to move on to episode 3 for a good, bad, and ugly. Alright, later.